Hi guys, again this is Yair from Rain the Dog and you are watching the Beyond Selenium tutorials. Today we will study about a very useful tool that we can have in our arsenal. This tool will help us to scroll down to an element. Scrolling down in Selenium might be difficult due to several factors that we'll discuss in this lecture. First of all, I want to present the test to you. This is a very simple test. I've called it with validator, you can call it every name that you would like. First, we'll go to full screen, this is not mandatory, you can skip this step if you would like. Then we'll navigate to a, a certain tweet that I found in Twitter. I will present you this website as well before we'll start. After we'll navigate to the URL, we'll try to scroll down to an element which will represent to us the end of the page. In the end, of course, we'll try to assert to find out that the test did whatever it was intended to do. Let's go to Twitter for a second. As you can see, this is a thread of tweets. If we'll scroll down all the way, we will see that we have this uh, lower bar with the Twitter icon on it. And if we right click and inspect it, we can see that we have the stream end inner as a class here. This class will represent the end line of the thread. For the purpose of this demonstration, this will be sufficient for us to determine that we have reached the end of the thread. So as you can see, I've defined stream end inner as a class name which will represent the by that will of the locator that the element that we want to find. Now let's head over to the method. This method will get the end element by that we just discussed and also a timeout in seconds. Why do we need this timeout? Because from some reasons if this Twitter uh, down bar with the logo would never appear we don't want our method or, of this test just to be stuck forever in an infinite loop. Then we'll start a JavaScript executor and we'll start an action object. The main core of this method is this while loop that will wait either that the end of page will be found or that will have a timeout. Then the only thing that we are going to do is to use the actions by pressing the control down key and the end key together. These actions when held together will just scroll the page to its full size one time for a full size. You can also check it out if you use your own keyboard and you press the control and end down. Then we want to determine whether this element appears now in the end of the page. In order to give an opportunity for content to load, I just added like a wait, a delay of 500 milliseconds, which is a half second. You can also skip this one, but it just, just in case. In the end, this method will return a Boolean value. The Boolean value will be the end of the page. If the end of the page was found, it means that we have seen this bar, so we'll get it true. Otherwise, our test would fail because we probably never seen it and we exited the while loop due to timeout. I have a, a comment here about this. Wait for element is a method that we studied in previous lectures. Also, it's checking if the element is displayed. In a future lecture, I will teach you how to determine which if the element is really displayed on screen because let's, let's say that we are in this position. What do you think will happen now? If I'm asking is the element displayed, Selenium will return a true value because the element is already displayed on the screen, but we don't see it. So we need to determine and we need to make a distinction if the element is displayed and also appears on the screen, in this case, it does not appear on the screen. So in a future lecture, I will teach you how to deal with this kind of situation. 
Selenium is a very useful tool, but sometimes it doesn't give us all the tools that we need, so we need to think a bit outside of the box. This is the main reason of these Selenium Java tutorials. Let's run the test. As we can see, our test has passed. We also scroll several times until we reach the Twitter icon. Scroll down in Selenium is not as easy as you might think. Let's summarize. First, we have navigated to a Twitter page. Then we implemented our method of scrolling down. And by using this method, we made sure that we are scrolling down until the end of the page and not just identifying an element that might not be appearing on the screen. That's it for today. If you enjoyed these lectures, please give it the thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do it now. You are more than welcome to navigate to our webpage raindedog.com where you can find some of our latest articles. Thank you for listening and have a good day.